Hey Fly Tires, um, Darren here. Welcome back to another Fly Tying tutorial. Today we're going to be trying something a little bit different. It's been quite a while since I've done any live feeds, so just see if we can manage one here today. <clears throat> so what we're going to try is this uh, Zonker Minnow, or a variation thereof. And... Uh, so just a little bit about the pattern here. This is, I don't know if you can see all this. This cost me, uh, let's see, say $6 for eight different colors of tubing. And I think I got about, let's see, 10, 30 feet in a package, something like that. So anyways, we're going to, Try tying a uh, zonker with some of this. So I think I'm going to start out with the uh, the gold. If you can see something, if you can hear me, just uh, post something in the comments there. Yeah, shout out, and I'll say hello. All right, so I'm going to use some Mustad 3665A number two hooks. These are a bit of my vintage stock. So these are the older models. So this is a different hook than I used in uh, this one here. I can't remember what that one was. Anyways, just gonna throw that in the vise. I think I'll use a black thread for this. I'm just gonna start by, I guess we're just gonna start by tying on near the bend of the hook. And I'm just going to take the length of this uh, tubing. See, it's uh, nothing inside, just a nice hollow tubing. So the water is going to pass through there really easily. So basically, I'm just going to feed that onto the hook shank. And if you just tease out the uh, fibers, they'll start to unravel a little bit. So what you want to do is just... Unravel those a little bit so you've got a little something to tie in here. And then we'll just use a few wraps just to secure that. And I'm just going to do a rough measure on this just to clean up the front end there. So I don't have too much stuff flopping around. All right. Sound is low, Martin. Thanks. Let's see if I can maybe turn that up a little bit. All right, Martin, let me know if the sound's a little better there. So I'm gonna try using uh, one of these custom zonkers I had made a few years ago. Got a nice dark patination on it. Hey Tim, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. All right, so you can see this has a nice, looks like a calico cat or something almost. Uh, it's not a cat, but uh, it was, it, it is a rabbit skin that was dyed in an animal print and I had it sent away and I had it zonkered. 
So this one might have been Snow Leopard or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I've just trimmed the back end of that into a V and we're just going to pull a little bit of that skin, the hair off the skin just to make a tie-in point and you can make that a little bit longer if you want. Just moisten that just to keep that hair out of the way. All right, thanks Martin. I'll try and speak up a little bit as well, a little bit soft-spoken. And we'll just use a few wraps to secure that. I'm just going to trim up the front of that as well, just to get it out of the way. So you can also weight these. Uh, I think we were talking on one of the videos about putting a couple BBs in there. So if you have some larger beads or something, you could bead those in. Kind of give you a little bit of a rattle. But I'm just going to leave this one unweighted for today. All right. So I'm just going to put a couple half hitches in here. Just so that that doesn't come apart on us. And I'm actually going to just put a little dab of glue. And in this case, I'm just going to use a little bit of Solaris. Just so that those thread wraps don't come loose. All right, so I'm gonna take that out of the way. And we'll just push this tubing back and we'll tie in at the front. So you can just kind of push that down and uh, I'm just gonna try and capture all those loose fibers at the front here. They don't need to be all trimmed away or anything and then I'll come in the back of the scissors there, trim that stuff up. All right, so I've got a bunch of different colors here. Let me know what color body you'd like me to try next in the comments. All right, so for the front, we're just going to kind of push that belly down. It makes a nice profile there. And we're just going to pull that rabbit strip forward and kind of where it meets the head here. We're just going to take our scissors and pull that hair forward. Just moisten the tips of your finger just to pull that away and kind of divide that so you make an easy division there. I'm just going to add a few thread wraps. And then we'll trim that away. And I'm just going to take a second to Clean up those, this head area here. It's a pretty simple fly. All right, now let's get some eyes on this thing. Let me think about blue eyes here. 
will be a little big. These are some of the eyes out of the fly tire dungeon. Let's try, uh, yeah, let's try the blue eyes here. just for fun. I guess I'm gonna just put a whip finish in that because I don't actually need anything else there. Don't need to tie anything else in here. All right. So these are some of the eyes from the Fly Tires Dungeon bait fish box, I believe it was. Alright, I'm just going to put those on my finger so I don't lose them. And then we're going to just position those on the head. I'm just going to add a little dab of solar is just to lock that in place. Throw one on the other side here. Just make sure that they're lined up. Looks good. Zap. Wonderful. All right, so I'm just going to flip that over. And we're just going to add a little bit more mm. on the bottom here. Just to make sure it gets locked in place on the bottom. So there you go, that's pretty solid. And I think we're just going to add just a fine coat um, just to make that head a little bit bigger. Good to have a uh, toothpick just to move this around a little bit. Help keep the shape of the belly here as well. Thought I might have got a touch in the eye, but looks good. See how nice and uh, fat that belly looks there. Nice chubby minnow. Tim, I gotta say, I've been using these UV glues for quite a while. Um, but one of the things that I really didn't like about it was that they often left a bit of a tack on them or uh, a little bit of residue. But this one's actually pretty much got zero residue on it. It might have just the slightest amount, but nothing really to speak of. So there you go. That's just your basic zonker. Um, I'm going to tie one more with a little bit of weight. So there's the first one there. All right, let's try one more. 
We'll try uh, something blue, I guess. Get a little bit of this material. It looks like it's got a little bit of metallic in there as well, so got to be careful. I don't want to dull my scissors on that. All right, I'm going to grab another Mustad 3665A, vintage number two. And um, let's see, I guess we'll go with black thread again. Put that there. I'm going to add a little bit of weight on this one. I'm going to put my thread. Maybe not. I should probably clean up my tying area. It's a complete mess. Sorry about that, the camera's a little lopsided. All right. So this is just a 0.8 millimeter lead wire. I'm just going to add a few wraps starting up here. I'll just twist that together, cut with the back of the scissors. I'm just going to build a bit of a taper up to that just to secure that. All right. So let's tease out the tail end of that again. This uh, mylar tubing. Just use a few wraps just to secure that. So I think we're going to go with a tan rabbit strip on this one. Blue and tan. That is kind of cool. So again, I'm just going to cut a taper in the back of this sunker. Save that for dubbing. And I'm going to make this one a little bit longer. I'm going to make it almost the tail about the length of the shank, so that's from where it starts to bend just to the eye. And I'll just use my scissors and Make a little point here where I can tie in. And we'll just put a few wraps right on top here. Let's 
pretty good. Now we're just going to add half hitch over top of this. It's probably the trickiest part of this fly. Just trying not to make a mess of that. If you're allergic to rabbits, this is not a great fly to tie. It looks good. Again, I'm just going to add a dab of glue here. Let's try like this this time. Gonna help make that a bit more of a solid fly pattern as well. Right, pull that back. Add a couple wraps here. And then we're going to just try and grasp all those ends here. Tie those down. We'll trim off these little ends. Just like to thank everybody for stopping by. And uh, hopefully we can do this a little bit more often. Now that I've got a little bit more time on my hands. So if you've got any suggestions for patterns that you'd like to see, you can leave them in the comments. Be getting some steelhead flies ready, uh, as well as some trout. I'm not sure if anyone's into saltwater patterns quite as much, but I'm always open to suggestions here. All right, clean that up. All right, now we're just going to pull the zonker. I'm going to give it a bit of stress there. And just pull it apart where we tied in the head. And I just take my scissor point and put it in a, from the hide and then just pull it up. That kind of helps separate it. Tie that in. Yeah, it's a pretty nice looking color combination. All right, and maybe we'll use some red eyes on this. That should look pretty hot. So these are the five millimeter flat eyes from Fly Tires Dungeon. And we'll just get a pair. I usually just stick them on my finger while I'm working with them. Let's uh, clean that up first. It's okay if you have a little bit of a bigger head. It makes it a little bit easier to work with when you're doing epoxy type heads. Quick finish and trim. Let's just position those eyes. So they got a bit of adhesive on the back, but they just don't have enough adhesive to stand alone, which is why you'll need some glue or epoxy or something to that effect. 
So I should also mention that the uh, solar res I'm using is just the thin hard formula. Put a dab there. Let's get that secured. Do one on the bottom. And uh, one other thing that I did on the bottom is you can kind of push this belly a little bit forward just to get a bit of a deeper profile there. See how that kind of humps a little bit more. Hey Dewey, thanks for the comment. Teal blue and silver would look good in this body. Yeah, I think so. I've got actually a different zonker strip, so something like that might be pretty cool. To say uh, blue and black barred over white. I think that would look pretty hot. Tim, now this is a, a streamer, so I wouldn't necessarily fish this uh, in the winter, but good fly for uh, lakes, actually, for trolling. Or are you asking, are there ice fishing flies that exist. Um, yeah, I think we had talked about maybe putting some ice flies on at some point and uh, maybe I'll put that together for some time soon. All right, so we're just gonna add a coat of solar res for the head here. Grab a toothpick. Kind of make sure that gets applied evenly. Then we're going to zap that. I don't know if you can see that. You get a little bit of smoke coming off that solar res, but it's actually quite pleasant to tie with. There's not a lot of odor or anything. And uh, if you want, you can actually add a top coat of uh, some hard head or something like that afterwards just like to give it a few minutes to dry up all right there you go that's just a couple quick flies and just to give you an idea some of the uh, uses i guess it's the same use but some of the variety just from the dollar store stuff so if you're out at the dollar store just make sure you keep an eye out for materials that you could take home and use for fly time all right guys thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the channel all right keep hooking your vice